Hey, it's Nathan Williams with Crazy Marketing. In this video, we're gonna go ahead and set up an evergreen webinar in ClickFunnels. So let's get straight into it. So we're gonna go ahead and add a new funnel right here. And we're gonna use the classic funnel builder option and create a new funnel. We wanna go ahead and host webinar. And then the one we wanna select is the webinar replay. I know it's not necessarily a webinar replay, but it's a evergreen webinar. I don't know, they should have called it evergreen webinar to make it more clear. But this is what we wanna go ahead and choose. And they tell us the steps it's gonna build for us right here. So webinar sign up, confirmation page, auto webinar, webinar replay. So we'll, we'll get into it. We'll do it real quick. So demo webinar. And we'll go ahead and build the funnel. All right, so here we go. Here are the four pages that they said they're gonna build on the previous page. And now we can go ahead and select some templates. So you can scroll through here and see which template you like best. Of course, you, you're gonna use your page builder so you can customize the templates or build from scratch if you really want to. We're gonna go quickly because you don't wanna sit here for four hours and watch me build one because it'd probably take four hours to actually build one with design and content and all that other stuff. So we'll just select the basics and get the ball rolling. So this one looks pretty, it's cool. Uh, then we got the webinar countdown page. So this is basically the confirmation page that people land on after they register for the evergreen webinar. So they can, you know, see, you know, when the webinar is starting, they can share the link, things of that nature. One thing you could do is offer uh, a tripwire offer or a self-liquidating offer on this page. Uh, that could work very well to kind of recoup some of your ad spend. So just depending on what you might have. So that's what a lot of people, or maybe not a lot of people, but that's one strategy or tactic is to offer uh, a low priced offer on this page. So they're waiting for the webinar to start. Then check out this $5 book you have for sale or something like that, right? And of course that book goes in line with the webinar. And on that webinar, you're gonna sell, you know, a thousand dollar package, something like that, right? All right, up next we have the webinar broadcast room. So this is the room that they go to when it's live, basically. So they go and they watch the webinar live. Obviously it's pre-recorded and all that other stuff. So let's go ahead and select this template real quick. And then we also have the webinar replay room. So this is the room that they go to if they didn't watch it live, right? So they're watching the replay. So it's basically the same room, like same concept, but it impacts your your automation a little bit. So we'll talk about automation in a minute here, but that's kind of the difference between these two rooms is your automation. Because when you're going live, you know, you want people to go in in the next seven minutes or whatever. Whereas with the replay, it's like, hey, watch this within the next three days um, before it expires, something like that. Anyway, that's a strategy or tactics for evergreen funnels. Um, okay, so we got our pages set up. And let's go ahead and look at them a little bit um, because there's some unique settings on these pages and unique elements. And we wanna go ahead and talk about them real quick. So this is our, our, our opt-in for our webinar. And we'll preview it real quick so we can see how it functions just out of the box. So we got our, it starts today at 3 p.m. It's 2.24 p.m. So it looks like it's a top of the hour webinar. I'll show you how to change that. If we click this button, it pops up a pop-up. And if you go ahead and register, there's a text message option, et cetera. And we'll register in a second to see what happens. And come down here, same concept, another opt-in. Okay, cool. Um, okay, let's go ahead and opt-in real quick and see what happens. So here's that confirmation page. So we see what it looks like. We see how it functions. We see that the webinar has a countdown now, it starts in 35 minutes and so on. And look, here we go. So here's what I was talking about, that, that self-liquidating offer, tripwire offer. So while they're waiting that 35 minutes uh, for a webinar about, you know, getting in shape, getting fitnessed, fitnessed? I don't think that's a word, getting in shape. There, we got this supplement that'll help you, you know, crush, crush your workouts or whatever the heck else you want to talk about. So I've, I've done this strategy before where you offer an offer offer an offer on the confirmation page and it can definitely help you recoup some ad spend. So it's definitely a good place to do it. Somebody's already shown interest in your your offer or your topic at hand. So fitness in this example and this supplement, you know, improves their fitness and so on. Makes sense, right? All right, so that's how it kind of works. Um, and then of course, we gotta go ahead and wait 35 minutes. After this thing counts down, it should automatically forward us to the broadcast room simultaneously. 
if we have our email automation set up, we should be receiving emails that are also bringing us to our, to our room. All right, so let's go ahead and check out some of these elements that we have available to us. Um, so let's go to elements, add element. And we see we have a few auto webinar elements that are specific to this page type that we have right here for webinar registration. So we got webinar date. Let's throw all this stuff in here and see what happens. So we'll throw the date in here. So this is the, the drop down. Okay, so that's like over here on the pop up. We have the webinar options over here. Um, and this actually will change depending on your webinar type. So we'll point that out in a minute here, but let's just add them all, webinar time. So this is, again, when they select what time. So depending on your webinar, it might change. Here's your local time. So let's go ahead and make this white real quick. And we got another one, countdown, auto webinar countdown. So this is like on that webinar confirmation page that we had. Where's a theme? Okay, there we go. And we'll add the next one, auto webinar at. And so here's that same thing right here, auto webinar at. All right, so those are all the elements available to us and some are applicable and some are not. It just depends on our webinar settings. So to adjust your webinar settings, you come to settings here and webinar settings and we can select our auto webinar type. Right now we're on top of the hour. So if we're on top of the hour, we're not gonna have this drop down where they choose a date and where they choose a time. Like they don't need to do that because the webinar is at you know three o'clock in this particular case. Or whenever, you know, whenever they land on this page, it'll be that hour that's coming up next. So we wouldn't have these elements on that page type. It just doesn't make sense because they can't select anything. Now if we come down and we change it where we do pick date and time, in this particular case, we would need the the date and time option where they go ahead and select their desired date and time to go ahead and uh, pick when they wanna watch the webinar, right? So they can register for these different hours, different times, et cetera, on these fields. So let's go ahead, let's change it to that. So date and time, let's go ahead and save it and see what happens to our elements now. So if we do this, and now, Basically, it freaks the heck out because today it doesn't make sense that we're doing pick a date and time. Uh, this this thing's freaking out. So if you have a freak out on your page, then you know you have an element that shouldn't be there. So let's delete this one and let's delete this one. And we can delete this countdown as well because they, they need to pick their time. So let's go ahead, save it and preview it real quick. And now it shouldn't be freaking out. So there we go, so it's nice and calm now, and they have a few different options. They can watch yesterday's replay video. So if they fill this out, they'll go straight into the replay room. Otherwise, they could go ahead and select a date and time that they wanna go ahead and watch the webinar. And let's go back over here and settings and webinar settings. And then every X minutes is quite similar to the top of the hour one. It's just instead of every hour, they could you know go in every 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes, whatever it is. So same concept as the, the earlier one. So those are the evergreen webinar elements as well as the settings and some elements go with different settings. I just wanted to point that out there so you know if you have whatever settings, um, you can only have certain elements, right? Otherwise your page is gonna freak out. So just wanted you to be aware of that and show you what's available to you and hopefully you can you know piece it together and make sense of it because it's not, it's not complicated. You just need to be aware of what is happening. All right, the next thing I wanna show you on this particular page is the automation function feature. Um, so what this is, is now assuming you've gone in here and you've set up your, your SMTP settings. So you come in here and you go into your SMTP email integration and you've gone ahead and set this up. Now ClickFunnels does offer a free simple one that you could go ahead and use for your evergreen webinars. Alternatively, you could connect a third-party tool like Mailgun to do your handle your emails and there's pros and cons to each uh, but you know for evergreen webinar the simple click funnels integration so this transactional only one is really all you need um, but if you want to go more advanced you can go ahead and set up a third party one so transactional only would mean you're setting up the click funnels smtp transactional and marketing means you're setting up a, a third party smtp like mailgun or sendgrid or something like that so anyway Assuming you have this set up, you need this set up to do the automation, uh, then you can come over here 
and configure your emails. So here's everyone. So this is you know who, when they register for the webinar, the type of emails they get. You can go ahead and edit them. So you can change all this information, change the design, note the different merge tags. So it'll automatically enter in the date, the time. It'll automatically enter in the link to the, the webinar so that way they can watch it and so on. So you can go ahead and customize this to your heart's content. Uh, there's a bunch of different settings and things of that nature. It's pretty self-explanatory uh, to figure out and do. And then we got another uh, section here for those that missed the webinar. So if they missed the webinar, you take them to the replay page, right? So if we look at this template here, we got the replay URL, uh, merge tag in there and so on. So pretty self-explanatory. I just wanted to point out that this is how you set up your automations for your Evergreen webinar to get people to show up and also to get people to watch the replay. And then of course you could go ahead and direct people to, to the product and everything. So we'll talk about that in just a second here, uh, setting up the product and tracking that. But I think you get the gist of how these emails work. It's it's self-explanatory. Attended but missed offer. So they attended the webinar but didn't see the offer. Saw offer but didn't purchase. And I'll point out these settings right now. So attended but missed offer and saw offer but didn't purchase. So basically we can see who, who stuck around, saw the offer versus who didn't. So you might want to send different emails to those who saw the offer. You might want to promote the offer. Whereas if they didn't stick around long enough to see the offer, then you want to bring them back to the replay until they stick around until they see the offer, right? So to go ahead and set that up, we go into our webinar broadcast room and, and we go to settings up here and webinar settings. And so right here is where we go ahead and say when we show our offer. So if we show it, you know, 40 minutes in, it'd be what, 40 times 60, probably should be able to do that in my head, 2400 seconds. So we'd set this to 2400 seconds. And anybody that sits on this page then for that long, we know have seen the offer. Right, so that's what you go ahead and you do there to set up that parameter of if they've seen your offer or not. And there's no special elements on this page, so it's a, a general page. It's just over here, the settings and webinar settings, that's where you set that timer up. All right, so that's how you go ahead and you set up that timer right there. A webinar countdown, we'll come back here now real quick. It's a very simple page. Take us 30 seconds to look at real quick. Um, there's no, no special webinar settings over here. Um, for elements, we got just your basic elements, uh, webinar time, so when's it starting, when's the date it's on, uh, and then add event. So this is a special little um, thing so people can share it on Facebook, Twitter, etc. So a little share, share thing. So nothing super special or tricky or neat, really. I just wanted to point it out to you. Uh, on the webinar replay room, it's just a gen generic page. Um, there's no settings on it. So you know, no special webinar settings, no special elements on it. It's just a page where people would go and watch the, the webinar. So I wanna point that out. Now, of course, over here on the auto webinar automation thing, we saw that we could do purchase product. So over here, so purchased. So in order to like sell a product that gets tracked in this little automation window, you would have to add an order form page here and an order confirmation page. You could add a whole funnel if you wanted to as well, but just for the sake of example, we'll just say order form. And so you'd send people to your order form here straight from your webinar. So they'd go to this order form to buy whatever it is you're selling on your webinar. And so we'll go with sales and order form and I'll just select a template. And then of course we'd go ahead and set up our product and all that other stuff and then we'd have an order confirmation, create funnel step, and we go to sales and order confirmation, and we just go ahead and select a template real quick. And so there we go, now we can go ahead and kind of track our, our purchases for our webinar. So that's how you go ahead and, and do that. Um, you can't direct people to a different funnel, it won't be able to track the purchases here, or saw offer but didn't purchase. So if you wanna take advantage of these particular automations in here, you gotta sell the product from this funnel itself, all right? And so that's pretty much it for this video and how to set up evergreen webinars on ClickFunnels. I think I pointed out all the locations you need to look. So you go to, like when you're editing a page, you go up to settings and then there's webinar settings. And depending on if you're on the auto webinar registration page or the webinar broadcast room, there's 
some different options in there. And then also there's some different elements depending on your page type as well. And some elements are dependent upon your webinar settings, right? So that's important. Then we talked about this automation stuff in here and how to go ahead and utilize it and how to track whether somebody attended but missed offer or saw offer but didn't purchase by setting a timer in the webinar broadcast room. And then also how to track purchases within your funnel by adding a order form and products to your funnel. And again, this could be a, a full functional funnel with OTOs, downsells, et cetera, as well. Uh, but just so they're doing it inside of this webinar funnel is how you track the purchases. And hopefully this is helpful and thank you. And I hope that you have a great rest of the day.